Beneath the quiet suburbs of New Jersey and the soaring skyline of New York City lies a hidden fault line capable of unleashing devastation on a scale few residents would ever imagine. The Ramapo Fault, stretching for nearly 185 miles across the northeastern United States, is not a household name like California's San Andreas. Yet, its potential for destruction is hauntingly real and dangerously underestimated. What if, without warning, the ground beneath America's financial capital began to shake? What if subways crumbled, bridges fractured, and the lights of Manhattan blinked out in an instant? Most people living in the region have never felt a significant earthquake. They assume it can't happen here, but science tells a different story. This ancient fracture in the Earth's crust, long dormant, sits beneath one of the most densely populated and infrastructure-dependent regions on the planet. And while it slumbers, the risks quietly build. Could a major earthquake strike the Northeast? And if it did, would we be ready? Or would we be staring into the heart of an unthinkable disaster? Today, let's delve into the geological mystery of the Ramapo Fault, its hidden power, and what might happen if it finally ruptures under the weight of modern civilization. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Ramapo Fault Line is part of a complex and ancient geological system that stretches across southeastern New York, northern New Jersey, and into eastern Pennsylvania. It marks the boundary between two distinct geological provinces, the Appalachian Highlands and the Piedmont Lowlands. The Ramapo Fault dates back more than 200 million years to the Triassic period, when the supercontinent Pangaea began to split apart. As tectonic plates diverged and the Atlantic Ocean began to form, rifting in the Earth's crust created a complex system of fractures, one of which became the Ramapo Fault. The fault itself is classified as a normal fault, where the Earth's crust on one side has dropped relative to the other due to tectonic stretching. Although it is not part of a tectonic plate boundary like the San Andreas Fault, the Ramapo Fault lies within the North American Plate and is considered an intraplate fault. Eastern North America's old, cold, and brittle crust allows seismic waves to travel long distances, meaning that even a moderate earthquake could affect a large area. Though ancient, the Ramapo Fault Line is not completely inactive. It belongs to a broader network of deep crustal faults throughout the eastern US, many of which are poorly understood and not fully mapped due to their age and burial under thick layers of sediment. The fault's proximity to major cities makes this seemingly quiet fault geologically significant and potentially hazardous. The seismic history of the Ramapo Fault Line is marked by relative quietness, but it is far from inactive. While it has not produced a large, surface-rupturing earthquake in recorded history, numerous earthquakes have occurred in its vicinity, reminding scientists that the region remains seismically capable. The most notable historical event was the 1884 earthquake near Brooklyn, New York, estimated at magnitude 5.3. This quake caused widespread panic, toppled chimneys, cracked buildings, and was felt as far away as Virginia and Maine. More recently, minor earthquakes have been recorded in New Jersey and New York, including a 3.1 magnitude tremor in 2020 and a 2.2 magnitude event in 2010. These small quakes suggest that stress continues to accumulate in the fault system. Unlike the West Coast, the seismicity of the eastern US is less frequent but more far-reaching, as seismic energy travels more efficiently through the cold, rigid crust. A moderate earthquake in New Jersey could be felt from Washington, D.C. to Boston. This means even a mid-range quake on the Ramapo Fault could affect tens of millions of people across several states. The Ramapo Fault's deep structure and long periods of inactivity make it difficult to predict, but the presence of historical and recent activity confirms that the region is not immune to earthquakes, and the potential for a more damaging event cannot be ruled out. Though the Ramapo Fault Line has remained largely dormant in modern history, the possibility of a major earthquake in the region cannot be dismissed. Seismologists agree that while the fault is not highly active, 
it is still geologically capable of producing an earthquake in the magnitude 6.0 to 7.0 range. This is particularly concerning given the dense population and critical infrastructure that lie above it. The challenge lies in the nature of intraplate faults like Ramapo, which are far from tectonic plate boundaries and are often buried beneath thick layers of sediment, making them harder to study and monitor. Unlike more active fault zones in California, the lack of frequent tremors does not necessarily mean the region is safe, it simply means that strain could be building silently over time. Although the probability of a major earthquake occurring in any given year is low, the high potential impact and current lack of preparedness make it a serious risk. In short, a major earthquake could happen here, and the consequences would be severe. The danger posed by the Ramapo Fault isn't just geological, it's infrastructural. The area surrounding the fault is among the most heavily developed in the United States. Cities like New York, Newark, and Philadelphia sit atop this fault system, with towering skyscrapers, aging buildings, intricate subway networks, and millions of residents packed into tight quarters. Many of these buildings, particularly older brick and masonry structures, were never built with earthquakes in mind. New York City only began incorporating seismic considerations into its building code in the 1990s. Thousands of buildings still in use predate those changes, leaving them highly vulnerable to shaking. The region's real vulnerability lies underground. An earthquake along the Ramapo Fault could rupture gas lines, water mains, sewer systems, and electrical conduits buried beneath the streets. The New York City subway system, an essential lifeline for millions, could flood or collapse. Bridges and tunnels could suffer serious structural damage or become inaccessible due to secondary effects, like power outages or traffic gridlock. Gas leaks from ruptured pipes could lead to explosions. Fires might break out in high-density areas and be difficult to extinguish if water systems are also damaged. Hospitals could lose power, water, or access altogether, paralyzing emergency response. Such a disaster wouldn't just be physical, it would be logistical. In the event of a major earthquake, the human toll could be significant. Depending on the time of day, thousands could be injured or killed, especially if the quake occurs when people are in schools, offices, or on public transit. Furthermore, a moderate to large earthquake in the New York metropolitan area would result in immense economic losses. The financial sector would grind to a halt if Wall Street or the data centers supporting it were disrupted. Airports such as JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark could be forced to close. Businesses would face structural damage, data loss, and power outages. Estimates suggest a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in the region could cost anywhere from $100 billion to $300 billion in direct and indirect losses. The insurance industry would be rocked by an avalanche of claims, and federal disaster relief would struggle to keep pace. Recovery would take years, with construction costs soaring and housing shortages compounding the crisis. Despite the clear vulnerabilities, seismic preparedness in the Northeast is minimal. Building codes in some cities still do not require earthquake-resistant design. Emergency services train more for hurricanes and blizzards than for earthquakes. Public awareness campaigns are rare, and many residents are unaware that a fault line even exists beneath their feet. The problem isn't a lack of scientific knowledge, it's a lack of political will and public attention. Earthquakes are low probability but high impact events, and governments often focus resources on more frequent disasters. Unfortunately, this mindset leaves regions like the Ramapo Corridor dangerously exposed to rare but devastating risks. There is still time to mitigate the risks. Urban planners, policymakers, and emergency managers must prioritize the retrofitting of vulnerable structures. Schools, hospitals, and government buildings should be evaluated and reinforced if necessary. Seismic sensors and early warning systems should be expanded throughout the region and mobile alert systems must be integrated to notify residents of shaking within seconds. 
The Ramapo Fault Line is a ticking geological time bomb buried beneath one of the world's most vibrant and complex urban environments. Though dormant for centuries, it has not been extinguished. A major earthquake may not be likely in any given year, but the consequences of such an event are too grave to ignore. In a region where millions of lives, trillions of dollars in infrastructure, and global economic systems converge, the margin for error is razor thin. The cost of preparing for a low probability earthquake may seem high, but the cost of ignoring it could be far higher. The ground may be stable today, but it won't be forever. 